But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire and like the fuller's soap. Fourth week of Advent, 23rd of December, Thursday Reflection. My dear friends, we, when it comes to Christmas, we miss the point, Hamatya. We miss the point as to the true meaning of Christmas. So it's a birth, it's a birth, it's a birth of our Lord. Then he's born. Who is born? Jesus is born. Jesus Christ is born. A king is born. So when, when you have him in your life, he's not going to come and cuddle you, please you. Most of the time, Christmas is a time of pleasing. And we miss, we miss the point of joy and we think it's happiness. We remember, we forget joy and we stick into happiness. So those are the things, we are, we are, those are the reasons why we have lost the meaning of Christmas. And today in the, in the gospel we find how John the Baptist was named. My dear friends, he was a radical child. The preparation of Christmas, preparation of the birth of our birth of the Messiah. And he was born, how he was born. It shows how we should be prepared for the birth of the Lord. My dear friends, the word says, the time came for Elizabeth to give birth and she bore a son and her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord has shown great mercy to her and they rejoice with her. So always barrenness in the Old Testament in salvation history had a meaning to show something greater is going to come and barrenness in barrenness Lord want to show it's my control and mine alone. So that's a reason of barrenness. So uh, Samson's mother was barren. Samuel's mother was, mother was barren. And in this barrenness, John the Baptist was born. And God mercy came upon her. And show that you, this child does not belong to you. He's a special child which belongs to me. The Lord wants to show. That's exactly why Zachariah, a priestly clan, and normally the child, the son is named after the father's name. He should be named Zachariah. But then it was completely a different thing. By that time, Elizabeth was broken. Elizabeth was broken because she was old and didn't have a child. They were, they were considered as cursed women in the history. So how this preparation how she was prepared, isn't it? In her barrenness. She was prepared in emptiness, loneliness, all the misunderstandings. He was, was being sharpened and been prepared. That's, that's exactly why the Lord is. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire and like the fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier, purifier of a free silver. He will purify the sons of Levi. My dear friends, Levi is a priestly clan. Now how he prepared them? So he's like soap. So what will soap does? What will soap do in, in, in the dirt, in a cloth? The soap will go, go in between the cloth and the dirt. It will separate it. It's a chemical reaction though, reaction though. So it will separate the dirt from the cloth. So word of God in Hebrews chapter 12, 4, verse 12, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it said, it's a double-edged sword. It will test our thoughts to separate things. So that's exactly how the separate preparation was done with separation. So that's exactly what happened to Elizabeth in the barrenness. It was a desert. It was a 
desert to the promised land. And on the other contrary, Zechariah was, he was muted from his speech. He was dumb, my dear friends. He could not speak because he, doubt, he doubted. Because words can destroy. Words are like seeds which sow upon a situation. But then what we sow, you will reap what you sow. So it's important what you speak, what you pronounce, because it's, it's shows your, it speaks your heart out, isn't it? So that's exactly why he was, he was muted of his speech. And then Lord acted. My dear friends, he's like the soap. When the Lord is, Lord is going to come to your life, the way he's going to deal with your life is different. So both of them were prepared. They were put to zero. The beauty of zero. Then you will suddenly you know how to surrender your life completely without having anything to your life because you're zero and you're done. Because that's exactly why we were made by dust, isn't it? Unto dust we will return. That's exactly why it's important that your plans are, should be broken crushed, smashed, powdered. God can easily work through you, my dear friends. Like he created man and Adam, Adam and Eve with clay, dust mixed with water. My dear friends, so that's exactly what happened. So they were ready, they were ready to give up. Zechariah and Elizabeth. God had a different plan with, with John the Baptist. God had a plan to prepare the way. The word says, for the hand of the Lord was with him. So since childhood, Mother Mary came to see Elizabeth. And John the Baptist, little fetus, was leaping in mother's womb because of that joy, because he had felt the power of the Holy Spirit. So he was a different child from the very conception and the birth itself. So he, he, he had the hand of the Lord and he had that anointing. So God had a different plan with him. So when they when it came to the naming of the child after the eighth death of birth, they circumcised the child and give a new name. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child and they would have called him Zechariah after his father's father. But his mother answered no. He shall be called John. So how as parents, they were connected to the father, connected to the inner voice because of the preparation, barrenness. And then his name, his name is John. And then made a sign to his father, inquired what he wanted him to call, be called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, his name is John. How beautifully this preparation was made. My dear friends, in the Old Testament, in the, in the salvation history, always there was a purpose with the name, meaning in the name. You are named after your calling, because of your calling. Your name is always connected to your calling, that your name had a, name, had a meaning. Moses taken from water, that was a meaning. And that's exactly Joshua, Yeshua, Yeshua, God saves. So that's the meaning, my dear friends. Lazarus, God helps. That's the meaning. So, but if the, so the true meaning, God had a dream in his life. For that, he had to break everyone. Break to the zero so that they would accept whatever comes from the Lord. Otherwise, we will be, we will be choosy. We'll choose what we want and we'll let go what we don't want. So that's exactly why it is important. Lord wants you to be prepared with the word of the Lord. Let him come to you to challenge you, not to please you. Amen. May God bless you.